This is not a time to wait or stagnate, no matter what your situation is. I'm going to talk about the coronavirus and how it's forcing everyone, everyone, including you, to change and what that means for you. Hi everyone. At this time, with everything that's going on, everyone's lives are changing. It doesn't matter if you're a baby, all the way to the oldest person. Every single person is being, not even asked, but forced to change in some ways. I am sure for everyone, it's a big change, but what you do with that change and what you do during this period of the unknown between what you knew and what you're going through now and where you end up makes a huge difference. Life is fluid. It's always meant to be changing and shifting. But as humans, many, many humans, not all, but many don't tend to like change and tend to hang on to what they know, even if it feels good or bad in their life. Change is not a comfortable thing because most people are really uncomfortable with the unknown. They'd like to be sure about the changes they make and what will happen as a result. As most big changes go, there's never a definite map or definite outcome that you can completely, absolutely expect. And that is enough to make people not want to make changes and keep them stuck in lives that really aren't to your full potential or that are gratifying, fulfilling, and sustaining in the best possible ways. As many of you know, I help you feel safe, confident, and prepared to make big changes. And even if you don't know how it's possible or how to get there, I can help you step by step understand and eliminate hindrances and also give you the support to help springboard you forward into successful transformation. That is the kind of work I do all the time. I help people with their biggest problems or gaining clarity and detailed guidance on what to do to get what they want. And I've been doing this for years. So change for me is nothing new. I tend to be a person that goes through many changes all the time. I'm not afraid of changes. Some of them are uncomfortable. Some of them are exciting but they're always full of the unknown. So what we're learning with this whole situation, with being locked down with the coronavirus situation, is we're having to change the way that we're even living every day, being more tied to your homes, uh, having to be on the guard when you go out. And how about those of you that are entrepreneurs, self-employed, or out of a job because of it? I want to let you know that this is really doable. It's so important for every single person, no matter what position you're finding yourself in, to know that it's okay to have a little fear, but not to get yourself completely tied up in that fear. Instead, it's a time to review where you've been and think about what you really want in your life and what you can do forward to help yourself. For some of you, it might mean you just need to shift the way that you do your work. So for the self-employed entrepreneurs, you can still continue to do your work. You just have to find a new way to do it. And if you're a self-employed entrepreneur, then you know already that you are creative and you are flexible and you're a problem solver and you find ways. 
So if you're in this position, don't buy into the fear and the lack mentality. Instead, use it as an opportunity to create a new way of income, maybe opening up new streams of income, maybe going for that idea that you've always wanted to go for but never had the time or reason or big enough push to actually make that happen. So get into your innovation and your creativity and think about how this could be an opportunity for your benefit. For those of you who might have lost your jobs or are at home and can't work, then it's a time for you to review, is that really the job that you want to be at? Has it been fulfilling for you? Is it something that has been feeding your soul? Like is something that you really love doing? Is it sustaining you financially? Ask all the questions because you might find that you've been settling and thinking that's the only job you can do or that's the job you have and you don't like it but you haven't found anything else. Well, now is the time that you can change your mind on all of that. Maybe this is your springboard to find something way more better aligned with what you really want and the money you really want to make. For those of you that are still working but have to work from home, and I'm hearing so often, which is so surprising to me, the people who are working from home saying, oh, I don't like working from home. I wanna go back to the office. That's where I wanna work. Like, who would have known that people would have wanted to go to work? Usually people don't really want to go to work. So I find it so interesting that so many people are in that position. Again, just like the people who have lost their jobs, maybe it's time to review, is this the job you want to stay in? Or is it time to reset yourself and go for something more? Not saying you should give up your job right now, but maybe it's time to put some thought to that and what you would prefer to be doing. Or maybe you just love your job and you just want to go back to the office and that's great too. Well, you've got to learn how to go with the flow and know that even if you feel like your life's not changing so much as far as needing to find new ways to survive financially, you are going through some change because we're all going through a change. So it's interesting to start thinking about what that change might be. This is not a time to wait or stagnate, no matter what your situation is. That's the worst thing you can do right now. Everyone should get up and be on their game and doing what you need to do right now to help yourself now and forward, no matter what your situation is. Stay hopeful to stay open to new ideas and opportunities that might be presented. Because when you keep yourself open, that's when you do receive insight and opportunities and things come from the unknown that you didn't expect to come your way. But the best way to get to that is if you remain open. If you just go, oh, I don't like this change. I don't want this change. This is a hassle. This is inconvenient. This is making me broke. I'm going to lose clients. If, if you're doing gloom and doom, you are real time creating those negative things for yourself in your life. Whatever you are declaring is what you are putting out into the universe to deliver to you and you will reap whatever you are sowing out into the universe. Another thing I just want to add in here is I'm seeing a lot of people being super negative and judgmental and blaming and pointing fingers uh, at all kinds of people, mostly the government or whoever else, a lot of anger and negativity. And I would just say if you are finding yourself being more on the negative side or even angry, I would stop and take a deep breath and just get away from the news and all of that and really take a breath and get outside, clear your energy, clear your mind and find something to be happy about, whether it is the weather or a beautiful garden or the air that you're breathing or the fact that you're healthy, 
but find a way to shift out of that negativity or that anger because the more you're doing that the more you're attaching negative energies to you negative spirits will come around you and become part of you and start speaking through you and making you feel more agitated and more angry so it's not a good energy to get caught up in if you're finding yourself consistently irritated negative or angry it really is a sign let this be a sign to you to shake that off get outside and shake it off and get a better attitude because you definitely don't want to be creating negativity and anger and nastiness in your life you really don't want to be creating that at this time we're all being forced to make changes and that means the energy is really moving and that in itself caused a lot of fear uncertainty confusion and it could create negativity when people start feeling uncomfortable they start projecting that feeling of feeling uncomfortable on others and pointing figures and blaming others for how uncomfortable they feel rather than realizing that they just feel really uncomfortable. You need to deal with what's going on inside of you rather than projecting it outside and blaming outside influences because you do have that control and you do have that power to do that. So uh, it's up to you to clean up your energy and clean up your mindset because with all the energy moving, like I'm talking about, at some point the energy is gonna start settling. And if you've spent most of your time being negative or worried or fearful or thinking the worst, then when the energy settles, you're gonna get a bomb of negative, whatever you were worried about, whatever you were scared about, if you put all your energy into that, you're just gonna create this energy force that plants into your life. And then it's gonna be really hard to get out of it. You're gonna find it very difficult to dig your way out of that. So the first thing you wanna do is clean up your, your mind and your energy. If you feel fear, you know, acknowledge that, like, I'm afraid, but you know what? I know somehow, some way, this is going to work out. It always ends up working out somehow. It's going to work out this time, too. You got to have those talks with yourself to keep you strong. And when you do that and you continue to look forward to, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know it's going to be better. I know it's going to be good. I know I'll come through this. Whatever it is that you have to say, that keeps you looking forward with some optimism and positivity. You are shaping your energy so when it lands that you are going to be blessed with something positive and good and fulfilling and the unknown will become a known. So whatever you're putting out there, you really need to make sure you're supporting yourself in the way that you want to be supported. Because if you are being negative, that's just telling the universe that you want to be supported with more negativity. So it's going to give you a whole bunch of negativity because it thinks that's what you want because that's how you're acting. Even if you're a little fearful, but you keep giving yourself these pep talks about knowing it's going to work out, knowing things are getting better, knowing this is going to work out for your best, then the universe automatically says, okay, this has to get better. This will work out for the best. This is going to be better than it was. So whatever you're putting out is what you're going to reap. So it's really important to check yourself and make sure you're staying on track with the energy that you really want to bring into your life. So I just want you to really know that everybody is changing right now. It is uncomfortable no matter what. But if you realize that you are in a state of change and you keep yourself focused on the positive and talk to positive friends or reach out to someone like me, a mentor that can help see the future for you, that can help guide you right now in a way that's going to benefit you, to give you some clarity and answers. Find the help you need to be able to make these changes in a way that's going to 
benefit you and that you're going to reap the best possible results. This is a great time of change and change doesn't have to be a bad thing. We are being reset globally and that's a big deal. So when everything starts moving globally, wow, imagine how much you would be able to shift and change to something even better with all that power behind the change process. This is an amazing time, really. Yes, the coronavirus is not amazing, and yeah, it comes with things that don't feel good, but whenever we have big shakeups, we have big changes, and it's how you maneuver that. It will be how you receive the next big transformation in your life. Just know that this is an incredible time, an incredible time. Who would have ever thought that they would live through something like this? I mean, I've been seeing it for a long time. Maybe not the how that, that it would be this virus, but I have known for since probably 2010 that we were going to have this big, huge shift. I heard that. I have it written down in one of my journals. And so it's really incredible. And it's everything that many of us were put on this planet to experience and be a part of and really work towards our own personal ascension, spiritual growth, personal development. This is a beautiful, powerful avenue for you to upgrade your life, transform yourself, really raise your vibration and hold a whole different level for your life and your reality. And that's exactly what I'm doing. If you're willing to roll with the punches and keep your eye on a target, you're going to do great. So I hope this was helpful. I just wanted to come on and give some more information. There's so much information about this whole coronavirus situation that I can talk about. Today, I just wanted to talk about the change portion. I will be back to continue to share more, but I hope that this has given you something to think about and that you start really being conscious about how you're aligning your energy because what you do now will predict your results. And I would much rather you reap wonderful results than reap a whole crap load of negative yuckiness. Let's not do that. Let's take deep breaths, feel the discomfort in the unknown, but be okay with it and start really thinking about what you want for yourself, how you want to feel in your life, what dreams, what things could be possible for you. Put it out there. What do you have to lose to put out your dreams and your desires? Nothing. You may just get it. So that's where you want to focus. Okay, everyone, I hope that was helpful. Lots of love. And until next time, peace out.